Hello fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make your own bias tape. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. To make your bias tape what you're going to need is your bias strip and also a length of card. This is of about 12 inches, 30 centimetres but it will be dependent on your sewing project. What you need to do is place your card onto the wrong side of your bias strip and remember it can be any width because you can get bias tape any width you desire, desire so the width here could be whatever you need for your sewing project and you need a steam iron I've actually put sticky tape on the back of mine just to keep them in position stop it from moving really but it's, it's not vital so yeah that's about right and then you get one end doesn't matter which one maybe the one closest to you is probably better and get your steam iron and just gently press that onto the card like so and then you get the other end position that and then you get your steam iron again and just gently pat down the bias strip onto your card and then when you're ready to move further down just remove your card place your tape into position again and then fold the bias strip over the card get your steam iron and gently just pat your iron down onto the bias strip and then do the same on the opposite side there we have it, your bias binding or bias tape. This is the wrong side. And if I just turn it over, you can see how beautiful that is, ready for any sewing project or created with just a strip of card. As you can see, it's very easy to make your own bias binding or bias tape. All it takes is a strip of card. If you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.